Hey everyone, so welcome to another video of me pointing a camera towards my computer. This time I decided I wanted to replace the fans on my 3080. Now it's not that I actually think it's too loud, it's just that I don't like the sound that it is producing. Okay, so for comparison, this is the GPU with the fan turned off. And here it is at 30%. Okay, so here's the card. Um, for those who don't already know, this is the Galax 3080 SG. So this is my first attempt to take apart this card. It might be pretty easy to get the um, fans off. There seems to be screws right under here. And I'm just hoping that if I unscrew those, the top will just come right off. So. So here's the card in the heatsink, and I think uh, I've hit jackpot. This is like the best layout for um, adding fans. I measured it, and the width of it is 92 millimeters, so it will fit the fans I bought perfectly. Uh, the fans I'm planning to use are the Noctua uh, NFA9 Chromax. So I'll be connecting the fans with these cables here. Um, these are the standard PWM 4-pin cables um, to the smaller Molex 4-pins that most GPUs support. Now one of them is actually a 6-pin, but however, because it's the same type of Molex, it actually will fit uh, without an is any issues whatsoever, like so. So my plan is to have two fans on the 6-pin uh, header and one fan on the 4-pin header. Okay, so it seems that the holes meant for the screws actually line up perfectly with the holes for the fans. I can actually um, screw in or zip tie one side of each of the fans. So I added the vibration dampeners on the side of the fan that lines up with the holes. And the other side I'm just going to put in place with adhesive tapes. I also got this RGB strip to attach to the bottom, like so. The main reason was because the original was RGB lit and I liked how it looked. It made a nice glow to the bottom portion of the motherboard and case. So I'm not too sure if it'll work out that well, but I'm going to give it a shot. Okay, so I decided to just put some heat shrink tubing on these wires because the colors were hideous. Unfortunately, I didn't have any black tubing, so I just used white. I think it looks a little bit better than um, just nude. Okay, so here's the finished build. Sorry about the messy desk. I think it went pretty well. I have attached an LED RGB strip on the inside. The fans are zip tied securely in place and I have adhesive tape on the other side so hopefully it's not going to come loose. The only area that I'm actually worried about is the cabling on the inside of the card. I'm afraid that it might actually hit the motherboard and prevent me from plugging it in. But we'll have to see. So, um, well, I'm just going to plug it in right now. Okay, so as you can see, everything is working. The fans are spinning, the RGB is on, and it's much, much quieter than the um, stock fans. Now, I just wanted to demonstrate how quiet the fans are by just turning it off. So that's how it sounds with it off, and this is with it on. So I've been running this Heaven benchmark for about a couple of hours now just to get the ambient temperature up to what it was with the stock test. Unfortunately, I couldn't show you the stock footage because I made several mistakes in it. However, I do have the numbers to compare it with. So right now, the temperature of the room is 22.5 degrees Celsius. It's actually 0.1 degrees hotter than with the stock test I did. And the temperature of the GPU has maxed out at 65 degrees. Um, on, during the stock test, the GPU hit 69 degrees, so there is a 4 degrees difference. I'm not too sure how accurate the fan reading is. At 50%, it's showing 1600 RPM, which is identical to what the stock fan would show at 50%. The Noctuas are actually rated at max 2000 RPM, so this does seem a little off. 
So here's a comparison between the new fan setup and the stock fan setup. So I've been using this setup for about two weeks now, and compared to the stock fans, I prefer this a lot more. During normal usage, I could barely hear the fan running. This was the main reason for me replacing the fans. Now unfortunately, I can't say the same about gaming performance. During gaming, the fan seems no quieter and maybe a tad bit louder than the stock fan configuration. I think this is mostly because of the amount of air those fans are pushing. But having said that, I'm not too concerned about this as the stock fans and the Noctua fans aren't that loud to begin with. Now some of you may have noticed a slight wobbling sound during the sound test with the Noctua fans at 30%. I'm pleased to announce that that has disappeared after continuous usage and it is much quieter now. This was a very fun experiment for me and I think the results were pretty decent. I hope everybody enjoyed the video.